let me have my sip as any proper youtuber okay now that we solved that in this video i want to talk about my app stack so basically apps i use every day or very frequently so let's start with the first and most important one and that is figma i don't think figma needs some special introduction or description what it does figma is open every day maybe except weekends i close it down but this is my primary tool in my work in conjunction with figma i started to use protopy protopy is very cool very advanced prototyping tool it has features such as interaction with keyboard so you can make an input and actually put some string or number or whatever and then you can create conditional flows which is quite powerful just imagine how how much it actually contributes to user testing when you have you know the whole experience crafted around actual interactions rather than saying oh just imagine if you would put email here and then press this button blah 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 so it's awesome for you know really describing story you're trying to say with your interface and your user flow then also from very recently i started to use app called slapdash it's basically let's call it replacement for spotlight it has very interesting feature that allows you to connect some third-party apps so with just a simple shortcut I crafted it in a way that it opens like a little window and I just put like a title and description of a ticket for myself and then it goes to some column in my Trello board. I find it actually quite nice for productivity because many times I decide to remember the thing I need to work on and then of course I forget because if it's not on a paper in calendar or in some app I will not remember. So actually having like this little shortcut um, makes me not so lazy to actually put all the stuff there in backlog and then stuff actually gets done faster and more efficient. For communication and similar stuff, I use Slack that's mandated by my company, but you know, many of you, if not all, use Slack as well. So again, no need for special introduction or description of that tool. And then, you know, as I get older, I kind of try to be pragmatic with the tools I use. I don't want to use bazillion apps for every little thing. I just want to have like few basic ones, not basic ones, but like few that are, you know, always open or frequently open and that are not, you know, obstructing my workflows and productivity because I need to remember all the shortcuts and, you know, RAM gets sucked with having like gazillion apps opened so yeah so i started to use uh, apple mail again i used spark for many years but i just i just figured I i'm just gonna go back to basics apple mail apple calendar it works great i have nothing to complain about so i yeah those two and then the last maybe like honorable mentions because i don't really use it every day but I use it at least once per week, or maybe once per two weeks, depends where project is. I use Xcode and Android Studio to test apps, basically. I just pull the code and then run either in simulator or on my physical device, and then I check user flows, design implementation, and so on, just to make sure uh, everything is implemented correctly. And saying that, I would encourage everybody to explore uh, these tools a little bit and become a little bit more comfortable because it's very good to do design Q&A before it gets to actual Q&A. That would be it. Very simple stack this time. Let's see if I manage to reduce it even further next year. If you have any tips for me, some apps that I should know about, write me in comments. I will gladly check them out. And it's time of the video where I ask you kindly to please subscribe and share with your friends. It really means a lot to me and you know let's grow this channel together also i'm trying to connect with you more so i think like two days ago i asked which social media do you use the most to kind of connect with content creators and twitter is winning in that poll so uh, i i hoped i can maybe use it again i don't like to use it because 
it's very hard to get some interactions from people if you're not, you know, this superstar and then everybody is commenting and like blah, blah, blah. So, you know, here is my Twitter and let's connect. You can ask me anything there, ask for help. Um, let's let's try it out. Maybe, maybe it will work this time. Anywho, this would be it. And until next video, ciao ski.